Okay. Does this ever happen to you? Where your login screen just sort of freezes up. Everything comes to a complete and utter stop. Mm. See that? It's amazing, isn't it? So you know what I have to do? I have to do a hard quit, a forced quit, and try again. Yep. So here I go. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Ah, <sighs> be back. Trying again for the second time. Let's see if I can get in. Woohoo! I got in. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. Okay. So, uh, let me grab my daily reward. And I am here. I am here at the Banshee Guild Hall. And uh, doing a quick check-in. Hi, how are you guys? Guess what? I have a celebration today. Do you want to know what my celebration is? Um, my celebration is that I have reached 52 followers on Twitch TV. Woohoo! Wait, I'm going to hold on a second. Let me see if I can find something. Uh, mm, mm, mm. There we go. All right. Um, hmm, that's the wrong place. Oh my God, I'm so bad about this kind of stuff. So give me a minute. Here we go. Let's see. I guess uh, this one is the one I'm going to use. <laughs> yes, indeed. I have earned 52 followers. So um, once it registers with the Twitch TV system, I'll be able to have subscribers. Oh my gosh. And those of you who subscribe, we're going to have so much fun. We truly are. Let's see. What else do I have in here? <laughs> oh yes, we're gonna have magic. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Let me pull out. Yes, indeed, we'll have soul magic. Oops, I just took <laughs> something I didn't need to. Um, we're going to have lots of druidic and nature magic this one lasts a long time i probably should have done it last it lasts like two minutes hey okay so i'm actually starting off today because i did receive contact uh someone um dm'd me and asked hey what are your 
what are what what do you wear what's the armor you wear so I'm going to show you that today so mm, let's go into my um, inventory and we'll start off so uh, for my main hand I wear a lightning staff of the sergeant and um, it's charged it's got a weapon enchantment on it and the trade is precise um, I don't use a back bar. Um, my head is Slime Cross Mask, and um, it's got a Maximum Magicka enchantment, and it's Divines. Um, my chest is Curious of the Sergeant, and it's got a Maximum Magicka enchantment. I believe it's the only heavy piece I wear. Everything else is medium. Um, the trait is Divines. My shoulders are, of course, Storm Masters, uh, Arn Cops, and um, Magicka Enchantment, and Divines. And all of these are, of course, uh, CP 160. My waist is Storm Masters Belt. Maximum Magicka Enchantment and Divines. My hands are Storm Master Bracers. Magicka Enchantment, Maximum Magicka Enchantment and Divines. My legs are, guess what? Storm Master's Guards, Medium. Maximum Magicka Enchantment, Divines. My feet are Medium Storm Master's Boots, Maximum Magicka Enchantment, Divines. My neck is the Necklace of the Sergeant. Um, it has a multi-effect enchantment on it, and it's Bloodthirsty. I wear Oaken Soul Ring on my, as Ring 1, and it's a Bloodthirsty trait. And on my ring two is the ring of the sergeant, and it's healthy. So those are my, um, that's it, that's it. And then uh, my skills, my skills, because I'm only working with a one bar build, right now, you can see I have 40 points to spend, um, but um, X is Daedric Prey. Um, it's morphed. It's a morphed uh, curse, Daedric curse. My Y is a morphed um, Twilight Matriarch. That gives me my health, by the way. Um, and it also fights and gives health to my companions, you know. Um, B is a, a volatile familiar. It's an unstable familiar morphed. And it does attacks. My LB is a Wall of Elements morphed to Unstable Wall of Storms 4. And my RB is Bound Armor morphed to Aegis 4. And my Ultimate is um, Meteor morphed to Ice Comet. Now, if I were to respec it, respec it, respec my skills I would put this to the other option I don't remember what it is but I would put it to the other option okay and then my champion points um, if we look at warfare I'll, I'll just um, start with starving death right there in the chest um, quick recovery is 20 points hardy is 20 Elemental Aegis is 20, uh, 10, I'm getting, I'll get that up to 20. Right now, a Preparation, Resilience, and Ironclad is zero. So I'm going to go down, zero, okay. I have none on my hips, either side. I have none on my waist, either side or the centers. Um, I have none on the lower you can see okay so let's go up under the left arm I have tireless discipline 
um, at 10. I'll get that up to 20. Um, my Eldritch Insight is at maxed out. It's at 20. Up here, my Precision is maxed out at 20. To the right side, um, Fighting Finesse is maxed out at 50. And then up is Backstabber is zero, Occult Overlord zero. Coming down on the left side, I have Wrathful Strikes maxed out at 50, and then zero. Okay, now let's go to the right, the right side of the screen. Um, so I have uh, Piercing, 20, maxed out. Flawless Ritual, maxed out. War Mage, maxed out. Um, Weapons Expert, maxed out. And then Battle Mastery, Might, Force of Nature, and Exploiter are at this time zero. Now if we go um, over to the left side of the screen, which would be my right arm, I have Blessed, maxed out. From the brink, uh, I want to get that all the way to 50, but right now I only have 16. I'll probably put those five available points into it. So let's go in there right now and find that. Where's my 16? There it is. Oh, it's maxed out. Okay, so it's maxed out, so never mind. Okay. And it says 50, but... Hmm, maybe I have to earn and open those up. Eventually it'll get to 50. And then up the sword, I don't have anything. I once upon a time had a lot of the healing maxed out, but right now I don't. And then over here, the three little to the right, uh, which is Endless Endurance, Arcane Supremacy, Ultimate Aggression, I have maxed out. Maybe I'll take and I'll put uh, a couple in each one of these. And uh, I'll give I'll give them like that. So you can see I have 3, 2, 50. Now for my companion bar, I have Fighting Finesse, Weapons Expert, Wrathful Strikes, and untamed aggression. That's my that's my blue warfare. So if you come over to the fitness um, and we start in the center at the chest or waist or whatever, sprinter I have maxed out. And we're gonna go on this line to the right. So wind chaser line, I have hasty maxed out. I have Celebrity at 50 right now, and Refreshing Stride and Thrill of the Hunt, I don't have anything. So coming over here, I have Tireless Guardian maxed out. Down, I have Fortification maxed out. Um, up, I don't have anything, so that's zero, and of course that's not even open yet. And then at the end, Walking Fortress, I have Nimble Protector max, maxed out, and I'm working on Ward Master. Um, and then Soothing Shield and Bracing Anchor, I have zero. So let me maybe put, maybe let me put my, let me get this up. Okay, it's almost there. I want to max that out eventually. Okay. And then this one right here, on guard, I have a zero. All right, let's come back down this sword, the sword blade, back to the center. And I'm going up to the chest or the heart, heroes bigger, I have maxed out. And then um, to the right, I have bloody renewal maxed out. I have siphoning spells maxed. Then I have zero, you can see zero, 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 zero. This line at piercing gaze, I have 10, eventually 30. Um, at the survivor's sp spite, let me bring you to the center so you see. So there's the center, it's on that line. 
I have mystic tenacity maxed out and the rest are at zero. Then coming down, tumbling, I have maxed out. Okay, and then nothing down here and nothing at the hilt. And then coming over to the, the swords that are over here, um, right now I, I don't have anything in these or the, the slippery, the unchained or the rejuvenation. I, I don't have anything in those, um, but I have my fortified maxed out and I have my boundless vitality maxed out. So you can see I still have quite a ways. I'm by no means um, at a superior level with my champion points, but it's given me quite a bit of uh, um, support. So my champion bar, um, I have bloody renewal, siphoning spell, fortified, and boundless vitality in my bars. Okay, and then for my craft, starting in the center at the at the waist, I guess I don't know. I have um, I'm I have right now um, 30, 30 inspiration boost. I want to get that up to forty five eventually. Okay. If we were to go down to hmm, the waist area, I've got Fortune's Favor at 20. Again, I'll work towards getting that up to 50. And then uh, Gilded Fingers, I only have at um, 10. So you can see I've got a lot here. If we go up now, Meticulous Disassembly, I have at 50. This is all your crafting, right? Going up to the throat, master gatherer, I only have it 16. I have five points, so I'm gonna actually put those right here. Okay. All right, and then if we go to the, to the ear here, plentiful harvest is only at 10. Crown is at zero. Gifted rider is at zero. Um, okay. Let's go to this shoulder, 50 at Treasure Hunter, it's maxed out. Did I go to this one here in the middle? Yeah, Master Gatherer. Um, Steadfast Enchantment, I have maxed out. And this shoulder, Homemaker, I have maxed out because I love uh, owning homes and I love decorating. Um, down here at the waist, 75 for the waist shrine usage. Uh, I like paying very little for use of way shrines when I want to use them. <laughs> uh, Breakfall, zero. Soul Reservoir, zero. Here, Rationer, I have maxed out. And then over on the right side, Liquid Efficiency, I do want to get to 75. I do want to, that's one of the areas I'm going to be working on next. But I have the Steed's Blessing maxed out for speed, which for new uh, new players, this is really important because it helps you a lot until you can buy those stable points. Professional upkeep for repairing armor is maxed out. Uh, sustaining Shadows, Angler's Instincts, I want to put points into that. Eventually, I want to both of those. Eventually, I want to get to be uh, to a place where I'm uh, uh, master angler, just like a grand master crafter. So, yeah, these areas are important. Okay, I'm coming back up to the to the heart and going to the left side, the shoulder, fade away zero. Down the arm to the elbow, zero. To the hand, zero. Down to the sleeve, infinite, zero. These are, uh, you know, for the people who are really, really into assassins and also the thief, <laughs> being a thief. Friends in low places to 
get away I have nothing in these and out of sight of course sneaking and stuff like that zero and then my comp um, let's see where where am I looking for them at we have the little side ones oh, I guess we don't have little side ones down here oh yes oh we do they're way over here oh no that's in the next one okay that's all for here and then in my champion bar right now I have treasure hunter and I have homemaker I have steeds blessing professional upkeep so that is my skill points and why am I not using all of my skills here well I I am uh, I'm making sure that all my passives are maxed out right um, until I use them I'm not going to um, I don't know whatever but all my passives in every single one um, and anything I use in my bar at this time I have morphed as much as I can the passives there you have it same thing with my storm calling see I could I could morph that I probably will there's my passives um, because I am a destruction staff I have um, most well I have it all I'm not very good at this kind of stuff I'll tell you what boy I do have all of my restoration because if I have to uh, I'll, I'll tell you a secret I'll tell you a secret <laughs> I actually have a back bar loaded as a healer okay but it's not active and I don't wear restoration staff I have it in my inventory and if I get into a place where I'm called to come in as a healer, what I do is I go into my inventory, I go to my Oaken Soul, I take it off. I go up to my, oops, up to my main um, weapon, my main hand, I take that off, okay? Then I put on my backup. My, do I have my backup on? No, I don't have my backup on right now. So I lied. Um, I don't have a restoration on me right now. I think I put it in my bank. Um, so I just pull out my bank and get my restoration staff, put it on. Then I'd go back. I'd, I'd make sure my back bar is active. Then I'd put back on my Oak and Soul ring. And then I become only a, res, uh, uh, a healer. So that's one way you can use your oak and souls. Be prepared. Have a back bar set up. I'm most, I used to be only a healer. Um, so my bars were really primarily for healing. Um, but now today I um, am very, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm savvy or anything like that. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does this, but um, I simply have a back bar prepared and um, and just do that quick switch and then everything's good. And then I'm happy, happy, happy. Anyways, uh, let me see, I was going back to my skills. Um, so uh, I've got, uh, I have my light armor maxed out because like I said, I was a healer and I only wore light armor. Now I, ha I have my, my medium maxed out and I have, um, I think one, he one, uh, heavy armor for the bonuses and the penalties because I wear one heavy armor. Excavation is maxed out. Uh, Ledgerman, I'm still working on. As you can see, I've got them all halfway maxed out because I have to get to 11, which I'm almost in order to open up some of them. Scrying is maxed out. I had to do it the hard way. Yes, yes. I didn't get to just pop down some gold and earn that skill line. I actually went through the skill line and did it. 
And then soul magic is um, maxed out. Dark Brotherhood, mm, yeah, well, I got my blade of bull, what can I say? Fighter's Guild, um, whatever, it's, it's, it's uh, active. Mage's Guild is maxed out, it's active. Sigic Order is maxed out. Thieves Guild, I'm still working on the Thieves Guild. I don't know if I like that kind of stuff, but whatever. Undaunted, I like Undaunted, so I'm doing my Undaunted. I got it almost maxed out, as you can see. My energy orb and stuff like that. I don't use it so much. I used to use the Blood Altar. I used to use the War Horn, but I don't do that. Assault is an interesting line. I don't do PvP. But I do run dungeons and sometimes occasionally, rare occasions, I've done trials. So it's good to have this kind of stuff and support too. It's good to have this because this is all for your PvP stuff. Mm. High Elf I maxed out. Alchemy, of course. I've got all of these maxed out, my skill lines, because I'm working on uh, becoming a Grandmaster. Maybe what I should also do is talk a little bit about the, being a Grandmaster and what that means to work towards it. Okay, so let's go here to the journal. Okay, under Achievements. Now, under Achievements, I've got a long ways to go. You can see down here in the bottom right corner what my achievement points are. I'm only at 17,635 just like not even a third of the way in but hey i'm i'm a work in progress my name's flower child and i love to do questions so sometimes i get lost out there on the landscape all right i'm coming here to you can see player versus player oh my god nothing not happening not happening at all all right crafting is the area that i'm spending a lot of time in so you can see right here, I've gone through these master writs, right? I've earned them. That getting to 25 was very expensive, by the way. It's very expensive to become a grand master crafter. So anytime you see someone wearing that grand master crafter title, let me tell you something. That person has done two major things. One. They've spent a lot of time working on achieving that massive title. And number two, they have popped in a lot, a lot of real money because people are so greedy in here. And a lot of the items to do your master writs, um, they're very hard to find out on the land and you end up going to guild traders. Um, uh, of course, you go to your guildies, your guild mates, and ask for help there, but you can't always be begging, right? So you go to your guild traders and you look for items. And I'm telling you, I've seen some ridiculously priced items, and it's really sad and disheartening, but. I guess, you know, that's the way the, uh, I'm, I live in America, corporate America, we're pretty damn greedy people. And that has really uh, come into SL and these people um, at the guild traders, just uh, wow, <clears throat> exorbitant amount of gold. And if I'm understanding the trade value correctly, it's like 1,000 gold. 1,000 1, gold pieces to, or 100 gold pieces, either 100 or 1,000 gold pieces to $1. So if somebody is selling a ruin for 75,000 gold calculate that that's an investment of real money it's really frustrating but I made it finally and um, 
I got my 25 master writs and now once I got that boom this unlocked so now I learned that I have to do 100 of those 100 I'm only at 27 hmm all right so that's that's a big thing but I'm gonna go down here real quick I'm going to go down to what's called the grand the grand master just a second grand master crafter here's your checklist this is what you have to do in order to get your grand master title so you have to become a professions master i just showed you the unsurpassed crafter professions master is this you have to max out all 10 of your skill lines then you become a professions master trait master you have to research all of the traits so let's let's look at that for a minute um well let me go back up here there's a trait master you have to research all of these weapon and army armor traits you have to at least once at least once so you can see that's a lot of research that you have to do it takes time if you are a new gamer and player in ESO start now don't sell off those items that have traits in them you take them to the crafting stations the set stations and you begin researching them okay that's the best advice I can give any new player all right I'm gonna go up here and show you there's the unsurpassed the hundred master writs and then here's the professions master which is you have to achieve the rank of 50 for all of those so those two you must do and then the next one like I said was the you have to be you have to become a trait master okay this is your iron right this is your iron you have to I don't think you have to research this but learn the learn hone trait for any weapon or armor type that's part of it and if you do that yeah well you have to do it you get an extra 10 or extra five and this is expensive this is freaking expensive but remember you only have to research one weapon with the trait learn hone and one armor piece with the trait learn hone I'm telling you all this stuff because nobody told me and I've wasted a lot of time and money on realizing that I I didn't have to do everything. All right. Let's go back down to our grandmaster checklist. Oops, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Grandmaster crafter. Okay, so trait master I showed you the jewelry trait just like the uh, armor the iron you have to learn all of those jewelry traits and some of them are really hard to find there's the nern honed trait you have to learn that true style master let's look at that true style master this one's very confusing and i'm not even sure i got that the right way i'm not even sure i'm understanding it okay so it says collect and learn 50 full motifs okay but what I and I thought oh my god so I'm gonna go out of this for a minute I thought I'm going up here to collections I'm going up here to armor styles and I'll, I'm it's the same thing in weapon but I'll stay up here so I thought oh my god so for example in head I thought I have to learn all of those light medium heavy and then I thought oh my god I have to learn them each motif in the chest and each motif in the legs all of them because that's a full motif set right it, it, as a motif set you get head chest legs shoulders feet wands waist and then you get all the weapon styles when you buy 
a motif set. Okay, when you go to the crown store, let's find it here. Let's find one. Um, where's Crafter? Did I pass Crafter? Maybe in the style? No, crafting. Here we go. Okay, see this very top one? Crafting, crown crafting motif, order hour. Right now it's on sale for 32. It's usually 4,000. Now that motif, when you buy it out of the crown, the store, you get everything, everything. That's a full motif. That's, you get that style, you get everything that's in it. Okay, same thing down here. Motif, you get that motif and you get everything that's in it, every piece that's in it, all the clothes, the armor, all of the weapons. But you can see they're 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. I mean, they're, most of them are 5,000. Okay, that one's four. But look at how expensive these puppies are. And I'm going to tell you something. Calculate that uh, 100 crown is $1. And you get a sense for just how much you're investing to buy one motif. Now, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. You know, Microsoft is Microsoft, and they want to earn money, ultimately. But do we need to be so ripped off? I really don't think so. I think this sh this could be redone so that it's a little easier, my dear friends. Okay, but it's not this. You don't have to buy a full motif. So let's go back in. Let's go back into what we were looking at our achievements oh wait no not our achievements have I lost you yet let's go back into our collections back down into our armor styles what you all you have to learn all you have to learn is 50 chest motifs only one so for example that's ancient elf that's Argonian. That's Barbaric Jerkin. So that's only three. See how many motifs I have active? But out of all of them, I've only shown you what con constitutes three motifs. There's four. There's five. There's six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 30, up, oh, 34, 34, I only have 34, do you see that? So that means I need what? 50, so 34, so I need, I don't know, I can't calculate in my mind because I'm not good at math, but I still have a ways to go. All I have to do is buy one, like I could go to a guild trader, or if one was for sale, or if I earned one, all you need is one. 
but the multiples in the same one, like all these multiples in the high elf, they don't count. That's just one motif. But you have to have 50 motifs in head, in chest, in legs, in shoulders, in feet, in hands, in waist. And not only that, but I'm pretty sure, and I hope someone will correct me and educate me if I am wrong, but in chest, you have to have 50 light. Fifty medium, fifty heavy, and in legs you have to have fifty light, fifty medium, fifty heavy, and in shoulders fifty light, fifty medium, fifty heavy, feet. Look at that. Do you see what I'm talking about? That's a lot of motifs you have to get. Light, medium, and heavy. And then, not only that, you got all these. You got your axes. You got your, are you two-handed? You got your one-handed. You got your shields. You got your bows. And you got your staffs. Fifty. So let's go back to our achievements. So once you have 50, you're a true style master. And I'm only calculated at 30 right now. So it's very confusing. Again, I don't know if it's in everything or if it's just I don't know, you see? I do not know. I haven't sat down and counted every single one yet to see. But you saw, I just showed you my light um, chest, and it only had 29. I didn't even have 30 in that, so. Okay. Let's go back down here to our Grand Master Crafter. So that's a, that's a true style master. Then you have the Recipe Compendium. And um, I'm not even sure what that is, but I have it checked up. I, I don't know what that is. Let me see if I can find it here. Somehow I have it. <laughs> Let's see the things I have. Mm, 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 mm. I know, I know. I'm hearing some of you say, Google it, Google it. You know what? I get so tired of so many players just live off of Google. And um, yeah, or I, I would say rather than Google, go to your, go to the wiki files, right? For yes, so they give us what they want us to know and the rest they expect us to figure out on our own. That's the real way to play the game. Um, I'm thinking the recipe has to do with maybe provisions or the different recipes you learn down in here. If anybody knows what that really is, if you could tell me, that would be awesome. Master Provisioning. See, I got that. Oh, Master Provisioner. Here it is. So this is, this is, this would be, re oh, here it is. Recipe Compendium. Yeah, you have to learn a hundred provisioning recipes. So make a lot of things. Make a lot of things. All right. Okay, let's go back up here to Grandmaster. Okay, so that's potency and botanist. Okay, we're going to go down. Botanist means learning all of the traits for each of your reagents. Learn these. If 
you want to know how to 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 learn these just do two at a time look at two at a time explore them and they're gonna it, it, you know how when you go to your I'll show you in just a moment we'll go to the botany table but I, let me show you the provisioning or not the provisioning what was the other one potency potency has to do with your enchanting you have a positive potency that you have to learn right you've got your ruby potency you've got your positive potency you can see I'm still working on this you have um, your negative potency I have one more to do which I should just do it and then I'm done and I have that one checked off so you have to have negative potency potencies anything that says potency in here done now botany let me show you let me show you a secret about botany Okay, here's the alchemy station to learn them creation you know how you have these things right so it doesn't matter just put something in do your cheapest when you're doing this this is the positives this is the negatives okay so you see how under each word under each herb there are four things so you put one in and you put another one and see when it says inert portion potion that means it doesn't make anything so you have to go through and figure out oh see now I could create a sip of vitality and when I create a sip of vitality when I'm first researching this then what's going to happen is it will add it will give me one of the four one of the four it'll tell me what creates vitality probably vitality see how each has vitality so it'll highlight that and the other three will be grayed out so you keep you keep your beetle scuttle in there and you just keep going down but it means you have to make these so you're making a lot of stuff but it's not as tedious as you might think it just takes some time standing here, here we go again vitality you've already made it but in order to activate it under dragon spile you have to create this sip of vitality and then it will now make dragon spile vitality highlighted and you keep going down right vitality same thing get make it get that vitality highlighted Oh, sip of armor. Go ahead and make this one because imp stool will get highlighted. It'll increase your armor. So, you, ravage spell protection. Oh, ravage spell increase spell power. Okay. So, there you have it. That's and you do that with all of them. Now remember right now I am I'm not changing anything but the second one so once I have all of the line done boom 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 then I would clear out and I would go back up now I've run through let me let me put in the natural water Now I've already done beetle scuttle so I've done it with everything so by this time beetle scuttle all four will be highlighted so then I go and I make my first one blessed this all and I do the same thing the second one is always going to be something else until I figure it all out stamina this one will restore stamina so that one on Blessed Thistle now I will have Restore Stamina and I will have um, nothing else yet because I'm just beginning to work with it okay 
you make it you come back down you take out chorus egg and you put in the next one sip of stamina so it's going to slowly activate all of blessed thistle now this is the way to an al this is the way an alchemist would do it what an alchemist would not do is go to google and google it and see somebody else's work and copy it and, and do it that way you would explore and guess what with enchanting the same thing is true with enchanting you start off with a ruin stone and you go through and you make right you go down to your um your aspect rune stones put in Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, essence rune stones, because you have three different types of rune stones. The first one is called p potency. The second one is called essence, and the third one is called aspect rune stone. And if you want to really get to know the the glyphs, making major glyphs and enchanting. Maybe you're not interested in this stuff, and that's okay. But if you're a sorcerer, or if you're into magicka, um, you're going to want to spend your time doing that. And then the other thing, of course, is being at your provision state uh, station and learning, whoops, learning how to create your dishes, collecting those recipes, and making them. You have to make a hundred, remember, you have to make a hundred recipes. So you're doing that through your daily crafting also, but you could certainly come in and uh, work on your, work on your master, uh, grandmaster. You know, my friends, I think that's it for today. I just wanted to kind of maybe give some insight and help because uh, you know it's so nice when people help each other in this game um if you're in a guild or seek out a guild a crafting guild if you want to really learn how to craft or a small guild like mine the banshees and um those of us who are in here we're so very willing to help um help each other if someone needs something to research we make them that item with the trait they need to research and then pass it to them and then they research it sometimes it's if it's an expensive material or trait we ask for um a a you know for them to give us that mat in in exchange once they have it or or whatever you know to help a little bit defer the costs but it's always a trade item it's never money and it's definitely to your guildies you never ask them for money that's not what being in a guild is all about yeah being in a guild is like being in a family it's being in the clan all right my friends thank you for tuning in and hey again thank you thank you thank you to my 52 followers you got me to affiliate ship on twitch tv and i'm so very very grateful and you'll see new changes some of the new changes is right now i have a digital artist a vtuber artist creating several things for me and you'll see those come to the Twitch TV channel and also to, to my YouTube channel. And those of you who are, I think, I, I think I've gained some more. You guys have crisscrossed and some of my Twitch followers have gone and subscribed to my YouTube channel. And I know for a fact some of my YouTube subscribers have gone to Twitch and, and uh, are following me there. The crisscrossing is so appreciated. Look for new things coming. Um, and uh, I'm excited. I, I, I want to really have fun doing this and yeah, and have fun with you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey, I will see you maybe later today. I don't know. Maybe I'll be back. But for now, I hope the information I shared was useful. Bye for now.